Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. This is a day in the life. Today I'm going to talk about jealousy. Yep, jealousy. Jealousy between two specific organisms that we deal with often. The green bean and the soybean. Do you think the green bean is jealous of its cousin the soybean? I mean, sure. The green bean has a venerable place in our hearts with Thanksgiving and the green bean casserole. But the soybean has a lot of things it can do. I mean, it's a snack food. The green bean's not a snack food. I mean, you have edamame. People eat those at Japanese restaurants and you even buy them in the supermarket and take them home. It's a fun thing to eat. Would a green bean be a fun thing to eat? Maybe, but probably not. Also, soybeans can do so many other things that green beans can't. I mean, soybeans can become soy milk. I mean, would you go to the store and buy green bean milk? Probably not. Soy can also become tofu. <laughs> That's industry in itself. I mean, tofu can be just tofu. You know, something in a soup or a salad or something. But it can also be transformed into other things. It can be ice cream. There's something called tofuti, which is soy-based ice cream. It can be a meat substitute for vegetarians and vegans. I mean, it's not the only one, but it's often used as a substitute for chicken and fish in vegetarian dishes. Not only that, it is trying to replace the turkey at our Thanksgiving meals. Have you ever heard of a tofurkey? So sure, the green bean casserole is a great side dish at Thanksgiving, but the soybean is trying to muscle its way in to be the central point of the Thanksgiving dinner with the tofurkey. This must stop! Oh, sorry, didn't mean to get overexcited. Now, if you don't know how to make a green bean casserole, you can often look in the newspaper around the holiday time, around Thanksgiving, and in the newspaper you'll find printed the recipe for a green bean casserole. But soy has also gotten into that, the soybean. The ink used in the newspaper is soy ink. That's right, there's no green bean ink, no green bean milk, no green bean ink, no green bean turkeys. So when you go to the supermarket next time, Go to the vegetable aisle, buy some green beans, prepare them carefully and with love, and then eat them. Show the green bean how much it means to you. At the end of this, I'm going to list some, only some, of the things that the soybean can do. This is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. You have a good day.